We're here in Cromwell, Connecticut, demonstrating the new Siemens Sinumeric One Control on the Track VMC7SI, featuring shop mill conversational programming right on the shop floor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the conversational shop mill programming to program the features of this part. Let's see what the complete program will look like when it is all finished. This is the program summary screen. One of the things that makes the Cinemeric One so intuitive. Here you can see all the elements of your program all in one place. If you want more detail, just tap the element. Let's see how easy it is to program the features of this part. We're going to start right up at the top of the circle. That's X0, Y positive 2.45. And now we're going to wrap around to the bottom of the arc. So I'd simply tell it, give it an arc. We choose the direction of rotation. We tell it our radius, which is 2.45. We give it our X value, zero. And our Y value is that negative 2.45. Everything else the machine's gonna calculate for me automatically. I can just hit accept. Now this line right here is gonna be at an angle, so I choose that angled line. And we're moving over to Y, uh, X equals 3.064, negative. Y equals 0 0.4045. So X, negative 3.064, y equals 0 0.5405. Type that in, again it calculates everything for us. Enter in the radius, now we're not going to a sharp corner, we need the machine to blend that radius for us. We have a transition to next element. We simply tell it there's an 841 radius and the machine's gonna do all the calculation for us. Simply draw the last angled line, X is going back up to zero. And Y is going to 2.45. Input, accept, our profile's complete. And now we wanna cut the pocket in the middle while we got the end mill, right? So we're gonna go into milling, pocket. We choose circular pocket, and then we choose our tool. Well, we're gonna use that same 3 quarter inch end mill, so it's already populated right there in the control for us. We're gonna cut it 30 inches a minute, 2,500. We're gonna do our rough machining. We're gonna do it centric. We're gonna define that circular pocket based on the center. We give it our X, Y, Z, zero. The diameter of our pocket, which happens to be one and a half. We've got our Z minus one. That's our minus 100 thousandths depth. We're gonna go at 70% cutter step over. All of that looks good. We're gonna do a helical entry on this where we can adjust the pitch and the radius of the helix. And there's our circle pocket. Now from here, we're gonna be doing our bolt hole pad. We're gonna switch over to our center drill now. And so we're gonna do our centering. So we've got our center drill. We've got 10 inches a minute, 2,500 RPM. And now I tell it, where are we gonna do those center drills? Give it a position. Simple picture. I pick the bolt hole pattern, and now I simply tell it where I want those holes. Z starts at zero, X and Y, right on center. Our first hole is at 45 degrees, and the radius of that bolt hole pattern is an inch and a quarter. I've got five holes. So now the last thing that we need to do is we need to drill the quarter inch holes on the bolt hole pattern, right? So that's as simple as taking, go to drilling, and tell it we want to drill. Well, there's our drill 250, right there in the list. Okay, 10 inches a minute, 2,500. Now I can do it by the tip or by the shank, so it's gonna automatically figure out, and I can enter into my tool library what the actual tip angle is, and it will automatically calculate how deep, how much further it needs to go in order to get to the shank diameter. So we'll go all the way through, minus a half an inch, no spot drill. And then I can take this same bolt hole pattern I use for the center drill and simply copy it and paste it below the drilling. And we're done.